Kylie Minogue is gearing up for her biggest world tour in more than a decade and it all starts with us. The global megastar is kicking off her Tension Tour right here in Oz. She's also releasing a new album, Tension 2. I sat down with Kylie as she hits a new career peak. You're coming home, how exciting. Um, can I ask you first off, Kylie, what do you miss most about Australia and what's the first thing you do when you get here? The thing I miss most is my family and the first thing I do is see my family and often I just never leave. Mum's home cooking. Oh really? Yeah. So what does she, what does she do best? Everything. Anything. Anything. What can we expect from the shows? The set list is always the hardest starting, the hardest thing in the beginning. But I'd like to have obviously songs from disco, which I didn't get to tour because that was through COVID time. Um, so disco, tension, tension to, yes, there'll be some of the hits that I can't not do. But I'm definitely leaving some space for, I kind of want it to feel a little bit like this is not quite quote unquote for the whole tour, but like a bit ravey, a little bit. Oh. I don't know, there was sections I did in, um, even as far back as 1998, Intimate and Live Tour. Thank you Australia, you kind of saved my life then, <laughs> doing those shows. There's, some, there's a little something in there that I'd like to explore and add that to the attention tour. I've got to ask you about something because a bit of dilemma for your fans because on the 1st of March, Saturday night, is one of your Sydney shows, same night as Mardi Gras. How are, how are your fans going to decide? Oh, I don't know. Did we think about that? <laughs> um, look, Mardi Gras goes all night, so both are possible. What, what this yes. needs is stamina. It's like pre's with Kylie and then kick on to the Mardi right. Gras. I think it's perfect, oh, actually. <laughs> it was love, it was love at first the idea of this last 12 months or so, cracking the US, the Vegas residency, padum padum, absolutely rocketing up the charts. Does it feel different to when it all began? It's like, I don't know, looking back at your graduation pictures and, 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 and comparing them to your current moment. There's something of that in the success of the last year compared to successes earlier that is so sweet. But I feel like lots of people out there might see what I'm doing and go, stuff's possible, you know, stuff is possible. And if you keep at it, you, you, can, um, you can achieve things. There's always a, a surprise somewhere along the way with Kylie Minogue, isn't there? Uh, most recently for me was your performance with Madonna and that chance to do that. I mean, did you grow up listening to Madonna and then having that chance to perform with her? What was that like? I didn't just listen to Madonna. I had the lace gloves. I had the, I had, I mean, <laughs> it was, I was prime audience. We danced around it a, a few times over the years of, of working together or performing together. It just, it finally happened. She lost her mother to breast cancer. She knows about my story. And on top of that, just being two women who have survived in the industry and um, so there was, again, there was layers to that and the crowd went wild and it was a moment for me and it was all good. I delved into my vinyl archive last night because right. I knew I had this and, and talking to you, I wanted to show you. This is a limited edition, original pressing of Can't Get You Out Of My Head. What? From the date of purchase is 22nd of November 2001 and the reason I've got this is because will you sign it when you come to Australia for me? I, I might steal it that's amazing <laughs> but no I'll sign it for sure that's that's awesome it's is so it cool I actually condition? it's in perfect condition <laughs> you don't I like still play it vinyl's kind of back in at the moment as well so it's kind of awesome. And for those younger viewers, don't worry, 2001, we weren't listening on vinyl. It was just that I wanted it to, to have it on vinyl. Um, hey, it has been so nice to have a chat with you. Um, cannot wait to see you back in Australia. And I've got one more last thing. I've got my gold hot pants ready to go as well. So um, 
Do you realise too? You know what? All those... I've got to do is sort the set list, design the show, do it, blah, 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 blah. But aside from that, I'm going to be fit. You're fit. You've got your gold hot pants. We're good. I've just got to work out how to get in these things now. <laughs> You're going to shimmy into them, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was a hoot. Can I give something away really quickly? What? They weren't hot pants. It was just a piece of gold fabric that I folded up to look like I had them in my Don't hand. Don't give your secrets away. Smoke and mirrors, people, just saying. She was very impressed with you. The vinyl bit? And you, oh, I reckon. Right. Just quietly, do you? Having the vinyl was really cool. Like, I knew I had yeah. that, and I was like, oh, I'm going to let her know. Yeah. Just, you know, it's a thing, right? 23 yeah. years. That's great. Mm, very she cool. loved it. Now, Kylie's attention tour kicks off in Perth in February with concerts in Adelaide, Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. Ticket pre-sales begin tomorrow.